welcome to Kid Nation Extra, where Jenna is offering steroids to people. What? Yeah. So I had this horrible zit. Yeah. Uh, you might not be interested in this, but it was make horrible it and it hurt, and I don't pick, but I like exfoliated it too much, and then I slept with a mask on it. I was not supposed to sleep with the mask on it. I didn't mean to sleep with it. It oh, burned my yeah. skin. So now it's all dry, even though the zit's okay. So I went to the dermatologist yesterday, and they gave me steroid cream and said it will fix it, like, in a day. I feel like if you give a zit steroid cream, it's not just going to get bigger and stronger. But you're putting it right there on them. No, my zit's done. It's I burnt my skin. Does it make the zit I angry? I overtreated it. I overtreated it. Does but the zit's sense? gone, so the it's not going to give it back? Out. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't know no, if it's going to no. bring them back. Anyway, do you want some? <laughs> you want some for your muscles? I want to put it on one arm and see if it's stronger at the gym today. <laughs> 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 That's what I want to do. What you guys got going on this weekend? I've got actually some pretty cool stuff going on this oh, weekend. What are you doing, Kelly? Please tell us. Yeah, um, our pastor retired, but he wasn't, he retired from our church, but he wasn't retiring from the ministry. Mm -hmm. And he has gone back at, at, to a historic church in Dallas, and one that his mother went to when she was a child. And he is reopening that church. Aww. And they're having a big, massive cleanup project tomorrow. And they've asked, you know, he, he just reached out to me and my husband about some other stuff and yeah. said, would you like to be part of it? So we're going to go down and help clean this old historic church that they're going to bring back to life. Very awesome. Cool. That's very yeah, cool. That's fun. And then that um, that movie project that you were supposed to work on, that uh, independent film. The one Alan was in? Your husband? Shoots his final scenes on Sunday. They're still shooting? Whoa. Yes. <laughs> there was some wet, you know, everybody's doing it for no pay. Yeah. And you have to work around people's schedules, and there's been some weather issues and stuff. So he's finally going to finish that this weekend. This thing was a commitment. It was. Yeah. And but it's been fun, and you know, he's glad he did it. But yeah, I'm bummed I didn't get to do it. Just also oh yeah, you were over. traveling. Or something, yeah, I was right? tra uh, No, my my mother-in-law was really really oh, sick, and right. we had yeah that's we right. had to we had a lot of things to deal with, and I felt like if something went wrong or I something happened, right yeah, yeah, I needed I, mean, I needed to be there for my wife, so I had to bow out. Yep. What you got going on, Jenna? Nothing. <laughs> what? Honestly, I've been really sad because my the guy that I was talking to, his mom's really sick. And yeah. I've been really sad because she's like, it's so weird and it doesn't, I don't matter. I don't matter at all, you know, so it's no. not, I'm, I'm not saying this in a way because it makes me sound selfish, but it's very hard for me to know how to navigate that, you know what I mean? Yeah. In the hospital with her and I think she might not have much longer to live and. Um, it's really, really sad. So I'm just trying to like be supportive. And I fell oh, asleep last night when he messaged me. I was sleeping. So then I wake up this morning. And I'm like, uh, uh, it's okay to fall asleep. He knows that you. We have weird schedules. I know. <laughs> that now, was it. <laughs> I think you're doing it right. You're you're yeah. you're checking yeah. in on him and and staying back yeah. a little bit. I have a lot of empathy. So yeah. I just drank a bottle of wine yesterday and staying busy. Lots of activities. Yeah. I needed some plans this weekend, huh? I heard you making plans with Justin to drink some wine. I tried to get that rat to come over last night. Oh, wow. I called him at 4 o'clock and was like, I just bought a bottle of wine. I can't tell you the last time I bought a bottle of wine with the intention on drinking it on a weeknight. Come over. Because, like, of course he's game and he lives a mile from me. Come on. Yeah. He was like, uh, I'm going to the gym. Oh. He was like, I'll be there. I'll go come over after. He goes, I'm going to be there until 8 o'clock. I go, you're going to the gym for three hours? Well, Did he? In a class? Yeah, well, he a was, class is 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah some but then classes. You, maybe he's doing back-to-back -back classes? Maybe he wanted to take care of it. Take I respect care of a it, steam. though. I'm not, I'm not going to be that person that yeah. tries to say, no, don't go work out. Because I, I used to be that way. That way. Yeah. If anybody calls me with any offer to do anything when uh, I'm on my way feel. to the gym, yeah. skr -skr 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 -skr. I'm on hey. the way I should have called Al. <laughs> skr -skr -skr. Would you have come? You would have come oh. drink a nice bottle of red wine. Oh, red me, wine? Right? I yeah. would have picked up another bottle on the way to get oh. your bottle. And a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing this weekend, Al? Um, we've got uh, some work. You know, I've got a job that one of Kelly's friends hooked me up with with the pizza trailer. I got a lot of work this weekend. You're working, man. working all over town, singing some karaoke tonight. Yeah. And I actually had a girl that sent me a message oh, on really? Rumble. Yeah. Oh, for real? I and changed, I changed. It's, it's working again. I. I changed my Bumble profile to um, I'm looking for a date next Friday night. Yeah. Holla. And so she said, "Well, I just noticed that." I have to work on the date that you're looking for. Holla. But, and she just left a smiley face. So, you know, maybe. I don't know if that's going to turn into anything or not. So we'll uh, see. Okay. But she working. 
Yeah. So it's not happening. <laughs> so still got the feelers out there. You I got you. What about you, dog? Oh, I'm, I'm going to be working. What are you working? Fortnite. Oh, man. Are you serious? What? Your wife waits for the weekend so she can finally have you with some quality family time, and you're going to spend it in Fortnite? Here's how yeah. we're going to do it. She goes to bed around 10, no matter what the day is, and that's when I start playing. You know you have children, right? Yeah. Okay. They go to bed at 7. Yeah. yeah. They go to bed at 7. God, you're lucky. 7, 7.30. My, my daughter hasn't been to seven ev- bed at 7 ever. Yeah. Now they go to bed at 7, 7.30, and then so Kinsey and I will watch some Dateline or a little Orange is the New Black because we oh. still got to catch up. Dateline and chill. And then uh, and then she goes off to bed, and then I stay up maybe till about 1, playing a little bit. Hmm. This is a new season just started, so I got to ride. All right. You got to ride. ride. Yeah, we got go-karts in there now. Golf carts. <laughs> With jump pads and all that good stuff. So all I'm excited. Right. I get to finally Have fun. get on in on yeah. that thing. Hey, let's do the question of the day. Come on. So, from uh, Savtig Betty. And it says, a reality show is made and you're in it. What is the reality show about, Kelly? Oh, boy. Well, I guess it's about, you know, blending families and new marriage. So about your life? About, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a reality show. What yeah. about? Well, I mean, it could be any any reality show. That's well, that's fine. Yeah, it's about, a, yeah, it's blending families and navigating first year of mayor. Well, now going into our second year now. And yeah. Maybe. The Allen Bunch. Finding love a little later, you know, trying again. The raspberry Inspiring, bunch. hopefully, people to give love another try. Okay. Big Al? Um, I guess about running a restaurant, you know, and uh, hiring and firing and all of that. You know, this Don't they guy. already have Bar Rescue? Yeah, but <laughs> not just a restaurant that, like, needs to rescue. They don't have Big Al's. Just the running, like, but, the Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a guy that called me the other day and said, hey, I need you to come help me get out of jail. Um, you know, those types of issues. Yeah. You don't see those those types of issues on some of these uh, restaurants. Sometimes that has to deal with some stuff. Well, that guy you gave a speech to, yeah. to get him out of the, the yeah. rut. Yeah, yeah, and then they had to Ended fire him. Ended up firing him, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the speech didn't work. Nope. What about yours? Uh, well, um, you got to get Jenna's too. Yeah. Well, I, I would want to do one with my family because my kids right now are hilarious. They just do and say funny things, and I think a lot of it is it would be, um, um, it would make people not want to have kids. Because they're so loud. <laughs> Call it birth control. But we were offered a reality show a few years back, and Kinsey is not into it. She will not do it. Doesn't want it. Doesn't want any sort of her. fame. I don't blame her. I don't blame so her. So I would want to do something where I where I challenge uh, athletes and uh, can I do it type deal. So I would oh. go uh, kind of like what Dude Perfect does, but I, would, I wouldn't do trick shots. I would just go do whatever, you know, hang out with a soccer star for a week and see if I could beat them. At something. At Some, soccer. Anything. Yeah, like penalty kicks or whatever. So it'd have to do with sports. I'd probably do a sports type reality okay. show. Jenna? I think it would be really interesting to have a show that is about the lives of people on the radio and like what they do after work. Yeah. Hmm. What, what would we call that show, uh-huh. Jenna? We're like, oh, that's right. We're doing one. Kid Nation TV. <laughs> that would be it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in July 30th on Fox and select markets. Good one, Jenna. Yeah. Houston and Dallas. I'm here for you. Real so, specific. Select market sounds better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but then it's going to expand <laughs> after that, hopefully. Yeah, it'll, it, we're going to get a nice little trial run and see how that works. And so we would love for you to watch if you can. And if you can't, try to see if you can uh, sneak in there yeah. on the YouTubes or online or somewhere so people see that you're clamoring for it. And uh, next week, we got a we got a busy week. We got Tasty and Crazy Eyes from yeah. Orange is the New Black yeah. visiting us. We have uh, Dr. Pimple Popper calling the show next week. I'm really excited about that because yeah. I, I like their show a lot. We finally saw it. It's more than just popping zits. It's about the emotions and the Man, stories. The, the things, just a, a, the l- tiniest little thing that you would see on a person. You're like, oh, she has something growing out of her ear. You wouldn't think much of it. But to her, it's ruining her life and, yeah. and what they have to put up with it. Yeah, it's a really good show. And the, and the background stories are great. So we'll chat with her next week. And, uh, yeah, have a great week. And Kid Nation, we'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye.